Well, maps that may hold the key to Michigan's future are taking shape tonight. The Citizens Redistricting Commission has approved the first set of proposed election boundaries. There are 10 maps in all carving the state into congressional, state house, and state senate districts. They're drawn by the Citizens Commission, made up of four Democrats, four Republicans, and five independents. Previous districts drawn by the legislature were often criticized as benefiting Republicans. This new process is supposed to make the maps more fair. But 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed tells us some are already crying foul. They have taken our community of interest and carved it up in such a way that Detroit is dismissed. We want maps that reflect who we are. These concerned voters say if something is not done now, Detroiters and black citizens won't be able to elect the person of their choice. Black leadership matters. Democratic Senator Adam Hollier says the issue is not about red or blue state. It's about representing one of the largest black cities in the country. Black people make up 14% of the state's population and 12% of the legislature. Two thirds of those members are from Detroit. If we decimate how black people get elected in this state, it'll have far reaching impacts across the state. And Republicans like Rocky Rutschkowski don't disagree. We are 100% behind the senator and his press conference. It's not about race. Uh, or, or color or, or religion. It's about communities of interest and making sure that the law is followed. So what does this mapping process look like and how did we get here? After being fed up with gerrymandering, voters took it upon themselves to create districts that better represents Michiganders of this decade. In 2021, for the first time, the map drawing process is being handled by a 13-member independent citizens commission instead of politicians. The 10 maps include three House and Senate, as well as four congressional district maps. Next week, the maps will go on a statewide tour where the public can ask questions and submit comments online. The draft Drafts will be voted on November 5th, followed by a 45-day public review period and a final vote on December 30th. Also, the maps must receive a majority vote with bipartisan support, but even then, Oakland University's political science professor David Dulio says the process is far from over. Not only could there be revisions um, to, the, to the draft maps, that's not the end of the process somebody's going to file a lawsuit. Voters can come down here on the 20th of October at the TCF Center to express their concerns about Michigan's redistricting maps. From Detroit, Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.